The CGM Mixer family kept growing since its launch in 2016 and became one of the most famous Eurorack mixers. However, despite its flexible architecture, something was missing. Something that we've been asked. Why sometimes? Today we are happy to announce the first CGM module that's neither a C, a G or an M, but an I, the Insert module. The Insert is a CGM add-on that allows you to connect stereo effects to your CGM setup, both in series and in parallel. It consists of two couple of outputs and inputs with dedicated gain switches. The first the stereo couple is the insert circuit, and the second one is the parallel circuit. Any signal patched to the insert circuit replaces the internal CGM sound going out of the insert module. A signal patched to the parallel circuit, on the other hand, is a sum to it. The output switches offer three degrees of attenuation, from neutral to maximum, while the input switches offer three corresponding degrees of amplification. These switches allow you to balance the level of your module system to many different circuits. The insert switches will affect the sound even if nothing is patched to them. You can match them to preserve unity gain or combine different values to boost or cut the signal. The insert module can be used between a group and a master, between a group and a group, between a channel and a group, between a channel and a channel, between a channel and a master, without a group. We will show examples of every connection throughout the video. Let us start with the most straightforward one, placing it between a group and a master. In this example, the insert works as an end-of-chain effect point. The compressor patched to the module will affect all the groups entering it. We can see that the compressor's input is saturating because we are running the mix quite hot. Let us reduce the output gain and compensate for it at the input level. We may even add some extra gain, since the compressor does not have a makeup control. As you can hear, the second group in the chains has a mono delay patch to its send return. However, we may also want to add a pinch of room reverb to glue all the mix together. Let us then try and use the parallel section instead. The sound is now processed in bulk, summing together the channels and the groups send and returns. The reverb is saturating a bit, so we can attenuate the sound going out of the module. We can boost the reverb return or attenuate a dry signal through the insert output switch. Even without using the reverbs control, we already have many flexible level options. Now we place the insert module earlier in the chain after the first group that contains all the percussive elements. If we activate the stereo compressor, we can hear that it affects only these sounds, leaving the harmony and melody untouched. Let us then use the gain switches to balance the sound and we are good to go. In this other example, we patched a delay and reverb in the parallel circuit, adding some texture to the bass and lead sounds. In the second group, there is the kick and the sweeping noise, which is going to another mono delay with the usual group send return circuit. In all the previous examples, the CGM configuration retains its mute, solo in place and PFL functionalities. The other main position for the insert module is after one or more channel modules. In this configuration, the effects will process the channels before going to the group. Since we no longer have the group's fader before the insert, the output and input switches are essential to maintain our mix headroom. The main difference with the previous examples is that now the groups and the return circuit will bypass the insert circuit. As you can hear, we have a mono delay patched to the grip send return and a compressor patched to the insert module. The compressor is working only on the dry channel sums. The solo in place and PFL functions still work as expected. If we use the parallel sum, we can get more creative. We can have a stereo reverb in parallel with a mono delay.
It is also possible to install the insert between two or more channels and it will only affect the channels before it. By doing so, the insert will create two sorts of channel subgroups. Here, a compressor is processing the rhythmic section. The solo in place will work separately in each subgroup. In other words, the solo in place switch of the channels before the insert will not affect the channels after it and vice versa. It is thus possible to activate the save solo function on a subgroup only, leaving the other one playing. The PFL will work as expected. The effect sense will go straight to the group, as if the insert wasn't even there. Let us explore this behavior by patching a shimmer reverb in the parallel circuit of an insert subgroup with just the melodic parts. As you can hear, we can add a mono delay to the patch, but still keep the two effects separate. Finally, it is possible to place the insert after one or more channels, up to eight, straight before a master module without a group. The solution is a bit limiting because it inhibits the functions of the CGM, like the safe solo and the group send and return, but it may be useful in smaller setups, where the serial insert and send return have priority. For example, here we are using the insert and parallel circuits at the same time, with a compressor in the insert and a little room reverb in parallel to glue everything together. The mute button and PFL functions still work as expected. There are six 10-pole IDC plugs on the back and a standard Eurorack power plug, but they serve different purposes and must not be used all at the same time. The general rule is that the insert module is a literal break in the CGM summing buses, so it requires separate cables for the inputs and the outputs. Never connect the same cable to both plugs. The signal enters from this side and exits from the other one. The connectors are arranged so that they are located exactly in the same spot as the previous and the following CGM modules in the chain. If you want to put your insert between a channel and a grip, your signal will enter from here and exit from here. If you want to install it between a grip and a master, the signal will enter from here and exit from here. If you want to install it between a channel and a master, your signal will enter from here and exit from here. You must connect it to the PSU only when using the lower plug. When connected to a channel, the insert module will draw power from it and won't need a dedicated power source. To perform every connection, the insert comes with two short link cables. We will call them insert cables and they should get you covered in most cases. For other scenarios, you can always purchase every other link system configuration. If we want to put the insert between a grip and a master, we will connect the channels to the grip, the grip to the insert and the insert to the master. We will connect to the PSU, the master, the insert and only one channel. If we want to install the insert module between two groups, we need the grip to grip extensions, like so. We connected the first QSC to a grip, the grip to the insert input, the insert output to the grip extension, the grip extension to the second group, and the second group to the master. This plug on the extension allows us to connect even more grips if needed. Mind the gap between the insert input and output. In the second group, we connected two channels to it. In this configuration, we need to connect to the PSU one channel of the first grip, the insert, one channel of the second grip and the master. If we want to put it between a channel and a grip, we will rely on the upper sockets using both cables coming with the insert. In this case, we are using an older link cable from the first CGM series to link the channels to the insert. They are always compatible. The link cables connect the three channels to the insert input plugs. We are using both insert cables to connect the insert output plugs to the grip. The master to grip link has a spare plug for the grip to grip extension. We must connect to the PSU just the master and one channel, since both the grip and the insert will draw power from the channel. 
If we place the insert module between two channels, we can create channel subgroups with independent solo in place functions and shared groups and returns. A QSC and a mono channel are linked to the insert input, forming a subgroup. The insert output is then connected to two stereo channels entering a group, which then reaches the master. Like in the previous example, we must connect to the PSU only the master and one channel. We can use the insert module instead of a group for a more rudimentary channel to master connection. The channel solo in place and send will become useless, but it still works. The link system connects the channels to the from C insert plugs and the master to group links connect the 2M plug to the master. The insert module literally opens up new mixing possibilities with the CGM. It wouldn't have been possible without our amazing community and we hope you'll enjoy it as much as we do.